We present sculpt, which stands for shape conditioned unpaired learning for pose dependent textured human meshes. The goal of sculpt is to learn the geometry and appearance distribution of clothed human bodies. Existing approaches are primarily based on implicit representations with neural radiance fields. Therefore, it isn't easy to integrate them with existing 3D scenes. We mitigate this by using displacements on top of simple mesh as clothing geometry representation and its UV space as texture maps. But to learn such a distribution requires a large-scale database with textured scans and aligned registrations. This is difficult to get. To this end we propose a novel deep learning framework called Sculpt to learn from unpaired geometry and texture data. Sculpt consists of a geometry generator network that takes a random vector ZG sampled from a normal distribution as input. The clothing type, CG, and the pose, theta, are provided as conditions to the network. The output of the generator is a displacement map in simple UV space. CG is a categorical label given by the CAPE dataset. The full set of used categorical labels is shown here. The geometry generator is trained with the adversarial loss with a global discriminator. After training the geometry generator, we train the texture map generator. It takes a random noise ZT sampled from a normal distribution as input along with the clothing type, CG, and the clothing color, CT, as conditions. To conform texture with geometry, the output of each synthesis block from the geometry network is added to the output of each synthesis block of the texture network. The output of the texture network is a texture map of the corresponding geometry in the simple topology. To train the texture network from unpaired fashion images, we first convert the displacement map to a clothed 3D mesh by sampling and adding to the minimally clothed body shape and pose bound shapes. This is then reposed using linear blend skinning W. Then the clothed 3D mesh and the generated texture map are provided as input to a differentiable texture renderer. This renders a fully clothed human. These renderings are then passed as fake images to a local and a global discriminator. The clothing type categorical label CG is computed by utilizing clip on the fashion images. We devise three different prompt sets for a particular image as described herewith. Clip provides a maximum score to match the best possible text input for each set. We combine these three results into a single categorical label describing the clothing type of the fashion image, similar to the clothing type labels of the geometry generator. Now we describe the computation of the clothing color labels. To achieve this task, we provide a fashion image and the two following questions as input to the visual question answering model blip, one by one. The output of blip is formed into a sentence. This is then passed to clip text encoder to get a feature vector which is used as CT. During inference, the blip model is replaced by user-made color inputs to form the sentence. Once trained sculpt provides various controls over clothing color, clothing geometry type, fine textures, and pose. All our models are trained with 256 cross 256 resolution images. Here we show how the effect of the varying CT keeping other factors fixed. In the first row we show the geometry. In the second row we show the corresponding texture rendered mesh. CT is fixed for each mesh of this row. One can observe that we can generate a diverse set of coarse colorful fashion images. Now we show the effect of varying CG keeping other factors fixed. The top row corresponds to the textureless mesh geometry of the clothing type categorical label. The bottom row shows the corresponding textured rendered mesh. For the same clothing type we can generate diverse sets of textures. Here we show fine texture patterns control or color tone control by interpolating ZT. Please observe the smooth varying texture patterns in the red box with the interpolation of ZT between two textures. Other conditions are kept fixed during the interpolation of ZT. Here we animate the generated textured meshes. It is done by interpolating between two different poses sampled from the data. The interpolation between two poses is done by spherical linear interpolation. The other factors are kept fixed during the animation. 
Here we rotate the textured mesh in different views. We also provide additional qualitative comparisons to EG3D and EVIA3D. They are also retrained with the same dataset we used in 256 cross 256 resolutions. As expected, EG3D produces good quality images, but their underlying geometry is bad. EVIA 3D improves over EG 3D over geometry but makes a trade-off in terms of the generated image quality. On the other hand, our geometry is crisp compared to the other two methods and has far better textures than EVIA 3D. Additionally, we also produce comparable photorealistic results to EG 3D. In summary, we introduced Sculpt, a novel deep learning framework to learn from unpaired geometry and appearance data. It provides various control over the generated geometry as well as the texture. We produce better quality geometry than the existing approaches and comparable photorealistic renderings. Thank you.